the time I have, I want to take you guys on a journey from where I started to where I am now and where I'm going. And it's not for the purpose of me, it's for the purpose of hopefully something that I share with you guys today will impact you to a point to get to where you want to be. We're all entrepreneurs in here, right? That's right. The number one thing that every one of us needs to do is personal development. No matter what industry you're in, we all know that personal development is a key to us getting to where we need to be individually so that we can impact others. Because entrepreneurship allows us to not only get where we want to be in life, but to do what for others? Help. Help them get where they want to be, right? So how many of you have read a book called Think and Grow Rich? Good. If you have not read Think and Grow Rich, you need to go to the store after this and go buy Think and Grow Rich. It's a story written by Napoleon Hill, who basically figured out what the millionaires and billionaires, the successful people 100 years ago today possessed, and they realized that the number one thing is all up here. Okay, it's all a mindset. There's a story in the beginning of the book about a guy in the East Coast who moved to the West Coast during the gold strike to try to, to try to strike it with rich, right? What he does is he buys this machinery and he goes on, on a quest to find some gold and he finds a little bit of gold and after years and years of searching, he pretty much quit and given up and goes back to the East Coast. He sold his machinery to another guy who had the idea, not knowing anything about gold mining, to hire an excavator and the guy had enough wit to say, hey, if we go back to where that guy that you bought this machinery from struck gold, every piece of gold goes down in a gold vein. So let's go back there. If we go north and south, we'll strike it rich. They do that, and the gold strike they hit still fills Fort Knox today. Okay, very powerful. So the Napoleon Hill Foundation commissioned Gregory, an author, to write a book called Three Feet from Gold. The story taken from the Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. So I read that book um, two years ago, two and a half years ago, when I moved from Maryland to San Diego. I was teaching back in the East Coast, loved teaching, and I still teach in a sense, but not in the public school system, right? I teach entrepreneurs how to be successful. What I learned from teaching is that you can impact people to do what they need to do, but not to go pass a test. What I want to do is teach people how to really live life. When I moved out here, I was starting my own business, and I was uh, moving to a city where I knew nobody with my girlfriend at the time. We had been together for three years, and within three months of moving to San Diego, decided after buying an engagement ring that it wasn't right for us to get engaged. So I was in a new city not knowing anybody, with an expensive ring that had pretty much put me in debt, with a business that was struggling and I was about to give up. I didn't know what to do. But I knew what I wanted in my future. And that's the key, right? When you know what you want and you can project yourself in there, you'll figure out a way to get that. Would you guys agree with that? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I physically went out to Staples after reading Three Feet from Gold and bought this yardstick. And I carried it everywhere on dates, to networking events, uh, to the grocery store for six months, literally attached. And I also have this keychain that is three feet, okay? It was my tangible reminder that I will always get where I want to be as long as I keep working on myself. So I, I decided to uh, do what I'm doing today, but before that, I was also investing in real estate. And I had a lot of success by doing the things that we need to do, which is build relationships, right? Mm -hmm. That's the foundation of every business. It does not, does not make a difference. And I had done a very good job of that. And I was successful in real estate, and I was speaking at another engagement about how to invest in real estate. Holding this yardstick, and at the end of the presentation, a guy comes up to me, shakes my hand, and says, I would love to get to know you a little bit more. And I said, well, I obviously, I'd love to do that, too. And he shakes his, he reaches out his hand, and he says, I'm Greg Reed, the author of Three Feet from Gold. Mm -hmm. So did I attract that into my life? Yep. Absolutely. Did he attract me into his life? Absolutely. And what I learned that day was not that it was important about me and the money that I made in real estate or what I'm doing today. The fact that Greg had written a book that impacted me and turned my life around when I was at the lowest of lows is amazing. We have now grown a relationship. I go to his house and play ping pong. We just play tennis at the La Jolla Country Club. And it's a new relationship that now I get to go out and impact other people. So with that, what Greg and I have done with some other amazing co-authors is we have written a best-selling book called The Initiative. And The Initiative is a journey of Morgan who uh, loses her job and her mom encourages her to go get another job. And Morgan says, well, I don't want to be a nine to five. How many of us don't want to be a nine to fiver? This is why we're here, right? Mm -hmm. Some of us are still nine to fivers and trying to get out into full entrepreneurship. And you will do that as long as you 
project yourself into that for yourself. So the initiative is a book that takes Morgan on a journey from her, um, you know, kind of in the same place I was, not knowing what to do, uh, in debt, you know, not having a job, not having an income, but knowing that she wanted something for herself, which was to open a bakery. And it's the journey of that, and I brought some books today that I would love for you guys to take, read for yourself, if you're at the point, we've all been there before, right? How many of you guys have been in a deep, dark hole? Yeah? Well, rock bottom is a pretty darn solid foundation to build on, would you agree? Yeah. Don't build it on sand, build it on rock. We've all heard that. So if you're at that position, this is a perfect opportunity for you to get where you want to be. If you're doing well, what I have found is I, I teach people now how to nourish the street. Everything has fallen into my lap now because I've projected myself and attracted these things into my life, and now I'm nourishing the street. Uh, dating is going better, right? My business is going better, my relationships are going better, my faith is deeper. And now I have this, this street of good things happening in my life, and when you're at that point, you need to reach out and you can just share with other people how to do that. So I would encourage you to take, uh, you know, it's 20 bucks, it's the same thing as on Amazon, uh, all of the profit I make from the book sales goes to a nonprofit called the Children's Hunger Fund. The more we give, the more we get. Agreed? And when you become heartful for other people and heartless uh, about yourself, that's when lives change. So all of my profit will go to that, and the impact that it'll have, we won't even know. We won't see the kids in Africa who are, are, are nourished better, right, because of the impact of the products that are sent over there. But the ripple effect that will be taking place just by you guys purchasing this book will be tremendous, not only for your individual life, but for the lives of others. If you purchase today, I'm also gonna do a free seminar for you guys, potentially a one-on-one, -on -one, where we just get together. We just kind of look at where you are and where you wanna go. Uh, I have become, thank thankfully, but through a lot of work, a, a great networker. And I actually met with Michelle uh, a couple days ago, who I met here last Friday. We sat down for an hour and a half, and she doesn't even know what I do, right? The purpose was not the purpose was not me. When you put your agenda aside and you put other people's agenda before you, that's when your business will actually take life on its own and start to grow. So learn how to build relationships, learn how to network, and I guarantee you, no matter what industry you're in, you will be absolutely successful. So if you want to purchase a book, just come see me. I'm not going to go say go to the back of the room and give me 20 bucks. It's not a hard close, right? It's just if you're at a point where you want to change your life, take one of these books, read it make a difference if you have teams. A lot of people in this industry um, that I'm in have teams and organizations that people are struggling as well. They're great gifts for uh, anybody that's a CPA or an investor who just has a client. They're great gifts, closing gifts, right? So if you want a book, just come talk to me afterwards. I hope that something I've shared with you today will take you where you want to be. And if you want to connect with me, just come find me on Facebook or anything, and I would love to connect further. So have an awesome day. I appreciate you guys.